A tragic tale with a happy ending. So this is the animal hospital here in Scarborough where a sweet little poodle is now recovering after being found abandoned and clearly abused back on Christmas Eve. Well, tonight we introduce you to the resilient little guy as the search is now underway for the person responsible for this horrific act of animal cruelty. Oh, you poor thing. Yeah, this was way more swollen when he first right. came in and everything. This is what Frankie the poodle looked like three weeks ago when he was dropped off at the Scarborough Animal Hospital. Can I see a tooth through there? Is that what I'm yeah. seeing? These deep lacerations were caused by a rubber band wound so tightly around his snout, he'll need surgery to properly heal. Have you seen that before, the band around around the nose? You know, unfortunately we have. It doesn't happen frequently, but it, it happens, I mean, once is, once is too many times. So, but we have seen it before. And, and why? I mean, what... Would even make someone do something like that? I'm, I don't, I can't answer that question. Frankie was found wandering around a Scarborough subdivision on Christmas Eve in the cold. He was clearly abandoned and badly abused. But the baffling thing is there are signs he was once cared for. This pup, believed to be about two years old, has been neutered and even trained. He happens to know a couple of tricks. Uh. Huh? Uh. What efforts are underway to try and find Frankie's abuser? We're really appealing to the public at this point for any information that they can give us that would lead us to who that person is. So you're hoping someone recognizes this little poodle and and, and, and knows where, where he came from? Exactly. Yes, that's what we're hoping. Toronto Animal Services claims it has notified the OSPCA and Toronto Police about Frankie's case. We made calls to both, but neither can find records of an open investigation. There's no way that some animals should suffer like this and person walk freely. Frankie, who was initially named by Animal Services, is now affectionately referred to as Beaker by his loving foster family here at the Animal Hospital. And so far, he's made an incredible recovery. It's okay. It's all right. Despite what he's been through, he's loving, trusting, and even playful. I just can't believe how sweet he is. He is so sweet. Just after being after everything, and he's still and he's friendly and like oh, isn't yeah. scared of people. No. Just goes to show how amazing animals are. Well, it's still unclear when this little guy will be available for adoption. I'm being told his surgery will likely happen in the coming weeks. In Scarborough, Shauna Hunt City News.